Arise, shine, for this is your time. This is the day the Lord has made. We should rejoice and be glad in it. Why? Because this is Monday. And Monday means we're getting motivated. We're getting inspiration. We're getting affirmation to carry us through this week. Let me say this to you. Don't get caught up in traditions. The transmission of things that's been passed down through generations. Listen, not all traditional things are bad. But it's bad when it has you in a holding cell when it doesn't allow you to move forward because you say, well, this is how my parents did it. This is how my forefathers did it. God wants you to do a new thing. God wants you to be able to be free. Who the sun sets free is free indeed. So don't get so caught up in culturally things. Don't get so caught up in religious things that the things of God can't move in your life. Listen. There is a new level, a new dimension that God wants to place you in, but he can't do it to the fact that you allow traditions to keep you stagnant, to keep you stuck. Because just because your parents did this one way, just because everybody else is doing it this way, doesn't mean that's the way that you should do it. See, this is what I want to say to you. Stuff that's been transitioned down has got you stuck. It's got you left behind. It's got you in a place where God can't show his hand on you. He can't move you to another place because the only thing you see is the way what it once was. But God said, don't worry about how what was, worry about how it's going to be. Don't be caught up in the old legacies. When God desires to do a new thing in you, this is what he wants you to do. He wants you to get out of your old way of thinking and get into kingdom way of thinking. Know who you are in him. Know what he needs you to do because your vision is being held up because of your tradition. I'm going to say that one more time. Your vision, your purpose in life is being held up because of tradition. Tradition of that your parents didn't do it. Traditions of things around you and how it always once was is being the thing that's holding you back from moving into the place God has set for you. But if you make a decision that I'm not going to be led by tradition. Because the tradition of man brings the word of God to no effect. Because we're trying to we're trying to fit God into our little box when God says no. Don't put me in your box. I want to do a new thing. I want to show you new ways. Just because it worked that way once before doesn't mean we're going to continue to walk in that same way. Just because we've seen certain things done one way before doesn't mean we need to hold on to them for the rest of our life. Because if you look and realize you've been doing the same thing, you've been speaking the same way, you've been trying the same thing, and it has not been any difference. you in the same place where you've been at for years. That is tradition. Because that's the way you've been doing it. That's the way you've been seeing it. But if you allow God today to open up your eyes, to open up your ears, to put you in a, a new dimension, a new level where you're hearing from him clearly, get out of the old way of thinking, cultivate the mind. Get into a new position where you're listening to God, but he can place you back in line, back in line to where you're supposed to be. So if we get rid of these old traditional things that was good for a season, it was good for that time. This is a new time and it's things that we have to get done before we run out of time. So when you're looking at your life, ask yourself, what traditional things have I been holding on to? What things have not been moving in my life? What things have I been speaking to my spouse? What things have I been speaking to my children? What things have I been showing them that it has not done anything but remain the same? Those are traditions that we got to get rid of. We got to stop. This is how we're going to do it. We're going to speak and declare today. That traditions, the old way of thinking, the old way of doing things is no longer part of my system. It's no, part, no longer part of my way. It was good for a season. It was good for that day. But this is a new day. And God says he wants to do a new thing. So I speak into your life that all old things, all traditional things that's been holding you back, that's been holding you up, be lifted off you, be removed. It be let go today. I speak in your life that God's going to do a new thing. That is a new elevation coming into your life. That you will no longer be stagnant. You will no longer be complacent. You will no longer be held back by the old ways that we used to do things. We speak right now. God, do a new thing in my life. Do the thing that you've called me to do. Place me in position because you said that I've been called. And I don't want to just be called, but we want to be sent. Thank you that we will no longer be held up 
but we will move forward with power. We will move forward with authority because no longer is tradition having rule over us. We're moving into position. We're moving into our destiny. We're moving into the place that God has set for us because we're no longer bound by tradition. Lord God, we want to be led by you. We want to be directed by you. Give us ears to hear, eyes to see clearly which way we're supposed to do, what things we're supposed to put our hands to. Let no weapon formed against us prosper. Let no old traditional things hold us up from moving into our vision, moving into the life, com completing the destiny that you have called us to do. We declare that this is our portion, that we have life, and we have life more abundantly, that the traditional things no longer are holding us back or bounding us up from moving forward in the things that you have called us to do. In Jesus' name, be blessed. You already know what to do. Dream it, start it, finish it, complete your assignment. Till next time.